Hello guys, today we will be reviewing this NVMe SSD M.2 from Silicon Power A80. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button as well so you'll be updated with my upcoming videos. Okay, now let's quickly unbox this M.2 SSD from Silicon Power. This is Silicon Power's older yet better version M.2 SSD A80 from their newer version A60. Silicon Power A80 also comes in various capacity from 256GB and up to 2TB. This new version now supports super fast PCIe Gen 3x4 interface that can read speed up to 3400 megabytes per second and write speed up to 3000 megabytes per second. This particular model I have is a 2280 or the 22mm by 80mm M.2 Slim Factor SSD. Okay, now let's install this M.2 SSD to the motherboard. My motherboard is a Prime B250M dash K and it's going to be really hard to install without removing the graphics card. Now that the graphics card has been removed, it would be really really easy for us to install the SSD. Just with a screw and we are ready for our new fast SSD. Okay, now it is time to check this SSD's benchmark and see if it can actually match what has been advertised read and write speed. I will be using an app called AS SSD Benchmark to test this SSD. Most common problem with NVMe M.2 SSD is on how hot it can get. With this benchmark, I will also be monitoring its temperature while the benchmark is processing. I will be using the monitoring from HWINF064. Okay, now currently our reading says 35 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we will be running it with a 1 gig capacity transfer to check our read and write. Okay, now let's press start. And let's also monitor our temperature. Right now it is in 37 while the sequen sequential read has just been finished. And oh look at that! Right of 1234 megabytes per second which is far less than what has been advertised. Mm, I'm not surprised though considering the price that we paid for this SSD. Uh, the price of it right now is 70 Australian dollars for 256 megabytes or 256 gigabytes so and the read is 2495 almost so basically it's almost reaching the advertised 3400 although it's a thousand less but it's far still way better compared to any SSD that are not NVMe okay now it's it's finished and our temperature is around 46 so maximum we reach is actually 50 degrees celsius which is still really really good and that concludes our review of the silicon power nvme m.2 ssd a80 although it did not reach its advertised read and write speed it is still a very decent m.2 nvme ssd from its price for only 70 Australian dollars for a 256 gigabytes. I think it is a very good steal and should be one of the top pick for PC builder who wants a value per dollar spent. If you like this video, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Dags out.